Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. After the Saturday Night Live star's text chats with Kanye West were exposed, Kim Kardashian is said to be not pleased with her boyfriend Pete Davidson. The mother of four, according to OK, is not happy with Pete. She regrets enabling Pete to lash out at Kanye over the weekend. Let's look at how Kim Kardashian feels about Pete Davidson reaching out to Kanye West. Number 5. How Kim Kardashian Feels About Pete Davidson Reaching Out to Kanye West According to the magazine, the Skims founder feels any moral high ground she had against Kanye may have been washed away with the text exchanges, especially since they were published, according to its source. Kim believes none of this should have played out the way it has, the source told the publication. I prefer to handle all problems affecting our children quietly, the Keeping Up with the Kardashians actress said on Instagram, and maybe he can finally reply to the third attorney he has hired in the last year to address any difficulties, peacefully. Number 4. Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian Respond to Kanye West's Threats with a Romantic Lunch Date With a romantic lunch date in Los Angeles this week, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian put the Kanye West issue behind them. Despite their continuing rivalry with the rapper, the 41-year-old reality star and her comic fiancé Pete Davidson enjoyed a romantic lunch date at In-N-Out Burger. As they walked up to the fast food joint, the KUWTK star and the SNL comedian were all smiles, demonstrating that they are still in the honeymoon phase and ignoring Kanye's Instagram rants. Kim and Pete no longer disguise their feelings for one another, and their followers adore it. In October, the pair were first pictured holding hands at Not Scary Farm in California, sparking speculation over whether the SNL star was dating Kardashian. Kourtney Kardashian and her boyfriend Travis Barker, who knows Davidson through a common buddy Machine Gun Kelly, were also present. Since then, the pair have announced their relationship to the public. Davidson referred to Kardashian as his girlfriend toward the end of last year for the first time. Number 3. What has Kanye said about Pete? West has been outspoken about his distaste for Davidson, constantly attacking the comic on social media channels such as Instagram. His Instagram feed is now empty, with all his postings erased. West called out Davidson in a deleted tweet referring to him as Skeet rather than Pete. Shortly after Kardashian was formally divorced from West, the rapper produced a video for his song Easy that showed a claymation version of West kidnapping, binding up, and burying a figure that resembled Davidson from the neck down. The video concludes with, Everyone lived happily ever after, except Skeet. In another song, 5-4 in City of God, West mentions David saying, This afternoon, a hundred goons pulling up to SNL. When I drive there, it's dead on arrival. On his Instagram, the rapper has posted a lot of things regarding Davidson, all of which have subsequently been removed. Number 2. Khloe Kardashian Supporting Kanye West Amid Rapper's Feud with Kim and Pete Davidson Khloe Kardashian surprised fans by wearing Yeezy sneakers to support Kanye West, who is currently embroiled in a spat with Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. On Sunday, Kim's sister Khloe expressed support for her troublesome brother-in-law as she arrived at Van Nuys Airport. During her most recent visit, the 37-year-old Keeping Up With The Kardashian star was photographed sporting Yeezy sneakers, which had tongues buzzing. Following her red-eye cross-country journey from Florida, Chloe looked stunning in a black sleeveless blouse and leggings, clutching a huge soft blanket. Interestingly, the co-founder of The Good American also dined at Swan Miami on Saturday to support Kim Kardashian's temporary skim swim pop-up shop. Number 1. Pete Davidson Reaches His Breaking Point when it comes to Kanye West's public statements, Pete Davidson has hit his breaking point, which you may have noticed after Pete's pal leaked the SNL star's private messages to Kanye. <clears throat> Pete's messages to Kanye have been removed from his friend's account, but they include the following. Can you please take a second and cool down? But of course, it's 8am and it doesn't have to be this way. Kim is the most amazing mother I've ever met. Kanye has stated that he won't be able to see his children for Sunday service, since the messages causing Kim to respond. Please stop with this narrative. You were just here this morning picking up the kids for school. However, West continues to use social media to openly harass the Skims founder, most recently by disparaging her current partner, Pete Davidson, and informing the world that the comedian shouldn't be allowed around his children. Pete jumped in because he couldn't stand it any longer. When Kanye continued to put Kim under the bus, the source added, He sincerely wants a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Kanye, and he wants it done quietly, says the source. According to the insider, Pete and Kim are still being hounded, and Pete is fed up with Kim being painted as the bad guy. Pete was adamant about not texting Kanye, but he was pushed to the brink. 
It's unclear whether the former Keeping Up With The Kardashian star will feel forced to reply to Kanye West's assumptions. However, now that Davidson has decided to speak out for himself, a retort from him may not be completely out of the question. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.